Good morning, friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel of astrologer Anil Agarwal. Today we will be talking about the theory uh, by the book of Nehru Dynasty by Vani Publications. You know, as per the, this theory, whenever the eclipses take place in the 17 axis of the luminaries, the ascendant or the sign allocated for the country, then and the dasha of a planet, dasha or anta dasha of a planet like Rahu, or the planet who has the potency to kill, then what happens? Then when Mars activates the eclipse point, then that is the point of fall of the nation or fall of the country. Now I am talking is with respect to US. I had predicted earlier also that. The dasha of Rahu Rahu for US will be most enigmatic and a cat catastrophic one. The reason is very clear. The, 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 as per the formation chart of US, it is of Leo Lagna and Rahu is post posited in the 12th house in the sign of Cancer with Mercury the 11th Lord. And the dasha has started a way back in November 2018. I had predicted uh, in 2018 only that the year 2020 will be most enigmatic for US, especially because the eclipses are taking place in the 17 axis of the sign Gemini, which is the 11th house, where four planets are placed. And the most important thing is the 17 axis of the sun and the Lagna Lord. It is and we have seen for ourselves the, the suffering by US. And uh, this makes uh, the, the, the theory absolutely fitting uh, on US. Now, uh, unfortunately, uh, Trump also has Leo Lagna and the eclipses in the month of December on the 4th, 14th of December, First, the eclipse is going to be on the 21st of June, a solar eclipse in the sign of Gemini. Uh, the uh, Nakshatra is Miksha. That again is not good for the country because uh, this eclipse will take place over the four planets of US. Then on the 14th of December, there are four pla five planets, including Ketu in the sign Scorpio. And believe it, they all, it is again uh, something parallel to the six planets which took place on the 26th of December. This time there are four planets and including K2 are five planets and they are very close. The K2 is very close to the luminaries and the luminaries are in Dandanta. Mercury is degree conjunct with K2. It's extremely bad, and the nakshatra is just, it is again a adhumuk and a tikshan nakshatra and a ferocious nakshatra. I was really amazed to see it, I was much frightened to see it. And this eclipse is going to take place over the natal moon of Donald Trump. So, this is not good. And the worst part is the parameter is that Jupiter is going to go in retrogation from the 14th of May and it will fall back in the sign Sagittarius on the 30th of June. Now Jupiter is the 8th lord for Leo ascendant and it will fall in the 8th house from the 10th house. Now and it will aspect the natal Jupiter in case of US. In case of Trump, his, uh, his dasha is Jupiter Saturn. And Saturn is the debilitation lord of Jupiter. And the other negative thing is that he has a Jupiter fallen in the second house. Second house fallen, Jupiter fallen planet is Akal happening. It's not good. And then this Jupiter will be activated. Uh, uh, it has already been activated now when Jupiter is in the sign Capricorn. Now, this Jupiter which is the 8th lot from Lagna will be fallen in the 8th from the 10th house. This is very bad. And then 
he, his fallen Jupiter also aspects the 10th house. So this is a time of most enigmatic time for Trump. And I've already, already mentioned that he will not be able to come. If planetary position are not conducive for him, to come back into power as a president of US. Now, as already uh, explained and predicted that this coronavirus will be, it will cast an evil shadow on US. Apart from that, the, you know, the, the, the brawl between US and China will take an ugly shape. And since the another parameter which is most enigmatic is that Mars is going to be in the sign Pisces and Aries for a very long time. Mars will join Pisces on the 18th of June, just before the solar eclipse of the 21st. And then it will join Aries on the 16th of August. It will become retrograde in September and then again fall back in the sign Pisces on the 4th of October. Mars is going to be in the sign Aries for 190 days and out of 190 days, it will fall back in Pisces for 81 days, mind you, sir, from the 4th of October to 24th of December. This is the most enigmatic period for the world and especially for US because the fallen planet in the 8th house and the 8th Lord will also be fallen. So it is very bad for Leo ascendant and especially US and Trump. I don't want to say anything more, but I'm just telling that us is going to be really in bad shape it, this this these eclipses will cast an evil shadow on us especially uh, leo ascendant because the eighth lord is going to fall and all those people who have fallen jupiter especially in sagittarius they will also suffer so mind you propitiate jupiter um, uh, pray for jupiter every day and that's about all I wanted to say. I was really, I got frightened to see the eclipse of the 14th December. You know, they, they, this year is a year of eclipses. And these eclipses are just got on our nerves. The, the, the 26th January 2019 eclipse, then the 21st June 2020 eclipse, and then the 14th, 14th of December. This eclipse is going to fall in the seventh house of India. That is also not good. So my dear, my dear friends, let us hope that this coronavirus, as I've predicted, as per the Kota Chakra, 27th of July, the court, court Swami goes inside. Court Swami is Jupiter and it goes back. So it, it is there is some saving. And after 22nd of August, some more benefic planets enter. So there may be some respite. But the Kotapal Saturn is not well placed, mind you. They will always there will be a fear for the coronavirus, and I I really don't know if this eclipse of the 14th December, you know, uh, I have just uh, uh, come to know that there the Singapore has predicted that 9th of December will be the day when there the coronavirus will finish throughout the world. But my dear friends, the 14th December. 2020 eclipse does not say so. Mercury is totally eclipsed with K2. Mercury is the sixth lord of the natural zodiac. It is with K2, and K2 is in just nakshatra. Just nakshatra is also not good. It is a uh, you know a lot of other uh, you know uh, diseases could come. It is not only coronavirus. It could be anything. So so my dear friends. Uh, Pray to God. This is the time to become more spiritual. Pray to God. And uh, that's all I can say. Okay, friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.